Dixie D'Amelio's weirdest secret includes beans? I'm Margie Mays. I'm Kaylana Lari, and this is your 24-7 Celebrity News. Someone might have just spilled the beans on what seems to be Dixie D'Amelio's very weird guilty pleasure. Online blog Total Frat Move posted an article detailing how they managed to convince the internet that Dixie D'Amelio had a weird obsession with baked beans growing up. While this was nothing more than a group of online trolls doing what they do best, the surge of bean comments led Dixie to disable her comments on IG. Poor bean girl. Dixie D'Amelio's guilty pleasure has just been revealed. Well, sort of. Earlier this week, fans began flooding Dixie's social media with comments about beans, which is, sounds so random. But turns out that this was all a social media prank started by someone on an internet blog called The Total Frat Move. In the article titled, I convinced the internet that Dixie D'Amelio keeps baked beans in her pocket, in parentheses, bean gate, because now we're calling this bean gate, Bobby D'Angelo details how and why he trolled the 19-year-old social media star. D'Angelo started by creating a fake Facebook account, pretending to be D'Amelio's old grade teacher, and joined different teaching groups he could find. Once added in, he named himself Melissa Trusos, his alias, and he wrote to these pages detailing some of her favorite memories about teaching the D'Amelio sisters. In one encounter, she recounts encouraging Dixie to get over her stage fright by running her fingers over a bag of her favorite snack in her pocket. When Melissa asked Dixie what her favorite snack was, Dixie laughed and said, baked beans. Melissa then goes on to say that she would always have a baked bean bag of baked beans ready for Dixie whenever she felt Dixie might need them. And now we have Bean Gate. <laughs> I'm sorry, like, I, okay, I understand like starting rumors about celebrities, influencers, like it, like, the concept of it is really mean. Like, it's really mean. But this is so funny. It's just harmless, you it's, know? It's Bean Gate. Like, <laughs> poor little bean girl. And apparently, like, bean, poor little bean girl was just poured all over her Instagram. It does flow off the tongue. Little bean girl. It, little bean girl. It like, most definitely it, does. It, I want to say it right now. <laughs> I want to call it Bean Gate. It is funny. It is so random. I don't know how this guy woke up and was like, I'm going to call, I'm going to start Bean Gate today. But. <laughs> It's so well Kudos done. Kudos to him. Kudos to him. And when you see the post that he made as this fake teacher on these posts, like it's like a- It looks real. To push it even further, Bobby enlisted the help of TikToker Grace O'Malley, mm -hmm. who fed the story to her, who fed the story to her 158,000 followers. As we report this, the video has almost 600,000 views in two days. That's absolutely insane. It is wild, but I mean, <laughs> what is amazing about this is this is perfect press for Dixie's song release. Yep, mm-hmm. This prank comes a few days before the release of Dixie's anticipated single, F-Boy. Amidst all the chaos, Dixie took to her TikTok account to post a video of, her, of herself singing along to her song, F-Boy. Would you like me to sing a little piece? We'll do that later, keep going. Okay. <laughs> the caption of the TikTok reads, you can't hurt me when I have my beans, kissing emoji. She, she has also commented on Grace's video and she also seems to be a good sport about the entire situation. So, I mean, kudos to her because I can't imagine just someone waking up one day and everyone's talking about the a beans. Win. Yeah. Guys, like, clearly she had no idea what was going on, <laughs> but it is super funny. We want to know, are you a part of Beangate? Are you going to keep Beangate going along? Um, we want to know everything. This has been hilarious. I'm Margie Mace. I'm Kaylana Lari, and keep it right here at Hollywire for more of your 24-7 celebrity news.